Hi, and welcome to Conquering Commas Lesson 6, Direct Address. This rule isn't too tough, and it's actually all about what we do in a sentence when we are speaking to someone directly. First, let's have a preview. We're going to review rules 1 to 5, then we'll define what is direct address, look at how to use commas in direct address, and review. Okay, so we're going to do this every time. I want these rules to just stick with you. Rule one, series. When you have a series of items, put commas in between them. Dates and addresses, same thing. Put commas between the parts. Introductory words at the beginnings of sentences, put a comma after them. When you're writing a letter, put a comma after the greeting, and then right after the closing. And lastly, the two adjective rule, put a comma between two adjectives to separate them when they're modifying a noun. I hope you've got this by now. Let's start talking about direct address by just going over a definition. Direct address occurs whenever a person, place, or thing is being spoken to, whether in person or in writing. It'll help to see some examples. Justin, comma, what's on your phone? In my imaginary conversation taking place in the White House, President Barack Obama is asking this very important question of Justin Timberlake, and you can see that immediately after the direct address, we put a comma. To be clear, this rule applies when the name appears anywhere in the sentence. It can be at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Let's look at another example. When you smile like this, comma, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, comma, I think it must be fun to be a famous astrophysicist. You'll see that we're speaking directly to the famous astrophysicist, addressing him by his name, and that there are commas on either side of his name. Here's one more example. You were the youngest person ever to win the Nobel Peace Prize, comma, Malala Yousafzai. In this sentence, we have the direct address at the end of the sentence, so it needs a comma before it. Here's the tricky part. This rule applies even if you aren't using a name. Direct address can be a nickname or a general expression. It could be a nickname like mom or sweetie. It can be a general expression like gentleman or hey you. Any of those apply as direct address because someone or something is being spoken to directly. So you're going to need the commas. Oh, here's a compelling example. This is Jonathan Taves of the Chicago Blackhawks, and we are speaking to him directly when we say, Captain Sirius, comma, will the Blackhawks win another Stanley Cup? Even though his name is not actually Captain Sirius, we are addressing him directly with his nickname, and so we put a comma after it when we see it at the beginning of a sentence. You can see that here too with the general expression. All right, comma, children, comma, it's time to go to school. Children isn't a name, it isn't capitalized, but it is an expression that you would use to speak to a group of people. How can we test for direct address? Well, it works exactly like the test for introductory words. If you can eliminate the name and the sentence still makes sense, you're going to need those commas. Here's how we would conduct a test. Daisy, comma, why do you always chew up my socks? I would assume if you're speaking to a dog named Daisy here who always chews up your socks, you would perhaps use her name, but you don't need to. You can take it out of the beginning of the sentence and it still makes sense. Why do you always chew up my socks? But look at the next example. You can see that it's not direct address. Daisy always chews up my socks. You can't just get rid of Daisy. Always chews up my socks? No, that doesn't make any sense, right? With direct address, if you can eliminate the name, then you know you're going to put those commas around it. You can almost think of those commas like little handles to take out the unnecessary part of the sentence. Here's a quick review of Lesson 6. Direct address occurs when a person, place, or thing is being addressed or spoken to. You need to use commas to separate the direct address or name from the rest of the sentence. Use the commas whenever the direct address occurs in the sentence, whether it's at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. I hope you're getting a little closer to conquering commas.